we're finally here in Ubud, Bali, Indonesia, and we couldn't be more excited. We will uh, arrive soon within uh, 30 minutes. This one. Where do you come from? And I'm from Canada, and Leon is from the United Kingdom, England. <laughs> Everyone smiles in the same language. How cute is that? But so far, so good. Uh, absolutely beautiful here. We can't wait to see it in the daylight. Cute. All right, let's go for a stroll in the dark and see what we can find. <laughs> yeah. It's very dark. We arrived in the dark. We don't really know what's up, so. This little the cafe and a restaurant, it looks like right here. So it's called a Blue Bliss Warong. So our first Warong and our first bin tank. Coming up. So, first bin tang. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, what are you getting? Did Have you one find? extra I picked from the menu. Curry. <laughs> That's correct. Curry ayam. Curry ayam. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, I don't know. Where'd it go now? Oh yeah, bapi keka. Bapi keka, which is pork and sweet soy sauce. So this is my pork, looks beautiful. Leon got a nice curry. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, Thank bye. you. Bye. Thank you. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah. um, it's, it's great. And the, the apartment's really nice. Really feels like very earthy. Like very in the Perfect. middle of a jungle. <laughs> yeah. How cute is it? Um, So we've got this set up here, we've got a little table there, a little, our bed. Our first morning here in Bali, we are in Ubud in our little kitchen, outdoor, little indoor, outdoor type of kitchenette area. Woke up this morning. I'm the kind of person who really needs my coffee in the morning and there's no coffee here. So I just messaged the host and just asked if they had any ideas of where I could get coffee. So Leanna and I were just talking about it and joking around. And Leon like looks up at the wall because obviously we're still half asleep. So this kitchen makes damn good coffee. Well, it might <laughs> yeah. if there was some coffee. This is what we're working with. So beautiful. I love like how massive the leaves are. It's crazy to me. <laughs> They're so big. Yeah, this area, Ubud, is very Hinduism based and it's a very naturalistic kind of area of Bali. So yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go explore, see what we can find. <laughs> to me, it looks like a family there. I don't know. <laughs> so this is the outside of Odessa here in the daytime. This is the main outer building and you go in behind there. Okay, so this is like literally right around the corner. This was closed yesterday when we came out, but look at this guys, like everywhere, every building has like this, these kind of walls. I love it, it's so pretty. And all of this area is all walled, like like our villa is the same. Like there's all these ancient old walls and you don't know what's behind, but there are these beautiful little villas and local houses. Oh, and here's the shop, nice, we need some stuff. What do they have here? I just got some juices. Awesome, bintang. Bosh. Hi. Hi. How are you today? Good. Very good. Yeah. This is your shop? Your shop? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Let's see what we have in here. Water. So, oh, nice. I've never seen this in little pouches like that before. I'm gonna try these. We got picked this up. Two of those. We got some instant coffee, some toothpaste, a bintang, and a coke. So 110. Perfect. I will carry this. Yeah, so Leon and I noticed that like at the openings of many of these houses they have, um, it looks more like a shrine. In Thailand they had more like spirit houses. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to learning more, yeah. more about uh, the symbolism behind that. Everywhere here is beautiful. Oh my God, you guys, I can't even help it. Look at this little place here. Look how cute it is. 
It's just randomly sitting there. This is where we were last night for dinner, so we just come back for breakfast. Yeah. Can we see the menu? Thank you. We came yesterday, it was very nice, so we come back today. Yeah. yeah. So we've come for breakfast. I got the pancakes and I got green smoothie bee. It's pineapple, cucumber, ginger lime, spinach, kale, and mint. So sounds very interesting. And Leon got the scrambled eggs, bacon, and a vanilla milkshake. Great way to start the day. <laughs> Okay, so that was an amazing breakfast, um, and we've decided that tomorrow we are renting a scooter. Right we're going to do it today, we're do take it, except for the really big ones, and we're still kind of starters. So we're going to try it, we're going to give it a go tomorrow, see how it happens. And we'll say, yes, hello, sorry, doggies, we're invading your territory. <laughs> These look like the top, the queen's crown on the top. Okay. Full? Okay. Good. You come the pool. Full back. back full. Yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. And uh, yeah. do you want us to give you money now? Money now or later? Money? Yeah. For the bike to pay? After you. After? Yeah. Which one's mine? What does it say? I'll see the one that says, I love my boyfriend so much. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's fitting. All right, so we have this one from our Airbnb host for today that we're going to just get comfortable and practice on. Are you going first? Do you want to go first? No, it's fine. You can go first. Huh? You can go first. And look, Ubud. Ubud community with maps and everything. All right. Maybe we should try this bike here. Chickens and the rooster, yeah, we see you. Okay, okay. Bye. <laughs> Slowly but surely. <laughs> and we've stopped here at the coconut kitchen, which is super cute. And we're getting a French, I'm getting a French fry and a salad, and Leon is getting uh, a fried noodle. That is where we're eating. That's where we're going. <laughs> so pretty. Not sure who this guy is, but okay. <laughs> Today we are once again in Ubud, and this time we're gonna go and explore and see what this beautiful green jungle lush area has to mm -hmm. offer. Yeah. Um, so where are we gonna be stopping today, babe? Uh, we've got quite a few stops. Uh, we, we're going to the uh, Lazy Cat Cafe, which uh, Jenna's seen online. Looks, oh uh, sounds quite I don't famous, even know so. if it's cats. I just read a recommendation <laughs> to go to the cool. cafe. I am crossing my fingers, you guys, too, that it's going to be filled with cats. Or it might just have a cat theme. Yeah. yeah. Never know. And then we go to the uh, Monkey Forest, um, which we might just take a fly-by drive through. Um, because uh, we have heard crazy that that can monkeys. be a bit, bit crazy. <laughs> and then we go to the... We're, we're then off for uh, maybe about... 30 minutes from here is the Seeking Rice Terrace. Yeah. So, but again, depends on traffic because Mr. Leon just started doing the scooter. So we're feeling good about it and we're going to go try today. But if there's too much traffic, too many people, too many gravel roads, we might have to adjust the route. But that's we'll the see. plan. All right. Now yeah, we'll see. All right. So we were gonna get we were gonna get a Scoopy bike, which looked a lot nicer. We were gonna get it today, and that one would have been a um, hundred k. But this one from our villa owner that um, 
provided us with the scooter yesterday. Um, this one's 70 uh, K for one day overnight, 24 hours. And uh, Leon's comfortable on it. So save money, he's comfortable on it. So it's great. So we are currently in front of the Kmart stores, which are really popular here in Indonesia. And also across there, there's the Alpha Mart. No, <laughs> yeah, you that. just literally drove through like the traffic they're talking about here. Yeah, I mean, it, for me, like I think the hardest part is when you're when you've got oncoming cars, you're next to a car, you, you, you know, putting your foot down and then, then you have to get off and it feels pressured and then it's going up the hill. Oh my God. Yeah, man. but driving it... A lot went, of nervousness, yeah. But I think... But that was traffic. That's yeah, different. It's a lot That's of like major... Tra you were just in... When they talk about Bali traffic, you just did that stretch. Pretty fancy parking spot though. Yeah. Look at the view. Okay, so we found the cat cafe. Well, I know that we often will recommend restaurants and show you where we eat, but this one, this one for me is like 10 out of 5. Like the presentation, the way everything looks, it's beautiful. The view is amazing. Like this, if you come here, you gotta come to this restaurant, for real. Okay, so there's no cats in the cat cafe. <laughs> That's kind of what I was expecting. I love how they named their, their coffee potency. Like, purr for mild, and then meow for medium, and roar. What kind of coffee do you guys like? I like the roar. Leon likes the purr. <laughs> This is the hummus pita, and it has homemade pita. It's got uh, tannini hummus with olive oil, raw mushrooms, sun-dried tomatoes, crunchy mozzarella balls, which are these guys. I didn't even try one yet. I'll try one now. Mm. Hummus, mushrooms, sun-dried tomatoes. Eggs Benedict. Stunning. Wow. The really cute thing about this cafe is you can pay 10,000 IDR rupiah. rupiah. You can pay 10,000 rupiah and they have postcards here with their art and you can fill the postcard in for your loved one. You pay the 10k, leave it with them and they'll bring it to the post office for you so you don't even have to worry about that part. I love that. We're writers. Um, together for four years. I am originally from Canada. I'm from England. And we actually met online through Instagram, through our poetry. Leon and I are both writers, both poets. That's a part of our journey. Uh, you can find out way more about our history as a couple online on Instagram, which is where we originally started. Um, we've been traveling full time around the world for over two years now. And we are currently exploring Indonesia. We just got here yesterday. So we'll be here for the whole month. I love like the tangible handwritten stuff. It's like, I think it's such a beautiful thing to do and, and, and surprise your loved ones. Like who gets anything in the mail? And I just love it. Like call me sentimental, call me old. I don't know, but I love that. Things like that make for an excellent 10 out of five. Pretty. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. I should have filmed the family helping us and stuff. They were so nice. <laughs> yeah. Didn't think to film. Look, babe, look at the rice paddies. Can you see them? Oh, yeah. 